Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining me today. I am Jim Coppinger from Zentech Consultants, uh, America's uh, construction support and preferred Procore partner. Uh, and we're here today for the next installment of our Procore Practical Proficiency Program series of presentations where we're trying to give you guys just some, some nice hands-on, easy-to-use practical approaches to make your daily work inside Procore a little bit easier. And today, what I wanted to talk to you guys about is uploading drawing revisions. Uh, this is something that I get questions on all the time. People, for whatever reason, seem to be okay with the idea of uploading the original set of drawings into their Procore project. But when it comes time to actually go in and you know, put in you know, the revision one, the revision two, to make sure that everybody on your project is looking and working with the most accurate and up-to-date information, folks seem to get a little bit confused and, and struggle a little bit. So I figured I would just take you guys through that today, show you how that works. It's a very simple process. Right? and uh, hopefully you walk away with a little bit more knowledge than you came in with here today. So with that said, right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna jump over into Procore for today. And you'll see that what I have here is I have a, uh, my structural bid set already loaded, just some, some basic drawings that have already been loaded up into the Procore drawing system. Right? This gives us the ability inside of, of Procore to actually be able to open up and view and edit and mark up files. Uh, which is great. It's it's an amazing tool. If you guys are not used to it, reach out to us. We can show you how. But the key here is that once the drawings have been uploaded, you know, it's very easy to go in and open and edit these, but you can see right here that all of my revisions are revision zero. This is the original example set that I loaded. Okay. So what tends to happen is, you know, a few weeks or a few months down the road, the, the architect or the engineer comes back and like, okay, there's an updated set of files that we need to, you know, adjust bid pricing for. We, you know, adjust it for some RFIs or whatever the case may be, some change orders. And now we need to get those drawings here. Right? And that's, that's where people tend to struggle because they're not sure how do I do that without deleting and overwriting the old files. The first thing to understand is that Procore always shows you these files right here are always the latest version, right? But that doesn't mean that we're stuck with those. We can actually bring in newer versions of each of these files and we can actually have those displayed while still maintaining the, the ability to go back and look at those older versions. So the great thing here is it, it really is not much different than uploading these files for the first time. All I have to do is go onto the drawings page, right? And on this drawings page, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna upload drawings, right? And then from here, I can either drag or drop or I can click on the attach files button here to load them from my computer. Or if you've actually got drawings, you know, PDFs that you've already uploaded into your documents folder in Procore, you can browse to those. I'm just gonna click on the attach file here and I'm gonna grab this uh, uh, example structural set from my desktop, right? And I'm gonna attach that. Now you notice I'm not doing much yet, but what I'm doing here is it's gonna recognize that this is already an existing drawing set. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna create my revision one set. Okay, that's all you have to do, just go in and type whatever it is. And it can be whatever revision number you want, or you can put in your know, structural updates. You don't have to worry about numbering it here. You're just creating another set for these. All right, and just go ahead and say, I'm going to create that set. And you can go in and you can set the, you know, the date that you received the set, right? what the default drawing date is on the drawings. Right? You can even get involved here and put in some advanced options. So if, for example, this is not revision one, maybe it's revision you know, 1.a.1, you can actually type that in here, 1.a.1, and then it will apply that revision for all of the documents in the PDF. Um, if your file names have the revisions on them, so if it was, you know, uh, you know, typical details dot one dot a dot one, if it was, that was in the file name of the PDF, you can actually get it from there. I'm just going to leave all of those. Just want to show you that that option is there, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to say process, right? and you'll see that over here on the side. Right, Procore is going to spend its time and it's going to process all of these files and when it's done you'll get your three green bars here and you can continue on with finishing your import process. So once that import process is done you get your three green bars right? and then you can just go over here and you see where it says click here to review right? and this lets you go through and just verify right? um, what Procore has determined because it uses optical character recognition to go in and actually read your uh, drawings. Right? See, it's reading typical details and, and the sheet number. And if you need to, you can pan and zoom and adjust that. And you can pick and verify if it's in the area and it's reading just the wrong thing. So maybe it was reading elevator sill instead of typical details. See, I can change that. But this is correct. So it's going to read those areas on all my drawings. Right? So I can just go ahead and say confirm and go to review. 
And what this will let me do is actually go through and see that I can check each individual drawing for name and number to make sure everything is good. I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and if I needed to, by the way, if anything was completely wrong, I can overtype those. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and confirm all and say those are all good. Okay, and let it go through and process. And now you can see that all of my documents have been bumped to revision one. All the documents are there. Everything's been updated and set. Now all I have to do is just go ahead and publish all those so that everybody in the project has access to them. That's it. That's all there is to uploading drawing revisions. It's that easy. Right? Very simple tools. And that's what we try to show you here. Right? So with that said, I want to thank you guys for being here um, and remind you that we are Zentech Consultants. And we're here to help you guys with all of your construction support services as well as your pro core consulting. We can help you guys with uh, setup and configuration of your estimating tools, additional estimating support, project scheduling. If you need a little help with your project management workflows, need you know just a little too busy, need a little assistance now and again. And of course, we're always here to help you guys with all of your pro core service needs. All right, so thank you, and I hope you got some good info. And I'll catch you in the next episode.